Okay, before we start the game, we'd like to acknowledge the contribution of three of our graduating players. If I can have the three of them come up here. Uh, Caleb Pangos, Natty Kawash, and Leander. Okay, this is a celebration of the careers of the York Lions. I'm not going to give you any of their basketball accomplishments, but rather give you an insight who they are. First, Leander Kerr. What can I tell you about Leander? Affectionately known as Lee. I can tell you that we missed her for one and a half years in our program due to a concussion she sustained for half a year, and then when she finally got healthy, she was diagnosed with a blood clot in her leg. Luckily, her health recovered and she was able to compete this season, and thank God she's in our lineup. I can also tell you, I think that Lee's watch is broken, because she's always late, two minutes here, three minutes there, four minutes here. But I tell you, every time she comes in with a beaming smile, and it's so hard for me to get upset at her. What I really want to tell you about Lee is Lee and water skiing. We took our team to a tree at Cabin in Perry Sound. We do various activities and we hope our players will get out of their comfort zone. Lee decided to try water skiing. As she got into the Bridger Waters in September, up, up north, um, the other ski was behind her back and she looked totally confused while her teammates were cheering her on and I didn't know if they were laughing with her. I assume they were laughing at her. <laughs> My brother-in-law, Jim, who's a great water ski instructor, settled her down, got her up, and she eventually balanced herself, and she ended up having a great run. Lee ended up with a tremendous beaming smile on her face, as we all know and love. And she had a great sense of accomplishment, which all her teammates acknowledged. This is an example of Lee's free-spirited personality. Absolutely priceless. Leander Kirk. sidelines way back when, when she was about this high with her crayons and coloring book. 
She eventually worked her way up from crayons and coloring book to be a team manager, handing out water bottles and towels. At that time, I never envisioned her playing for York and having a tremendous five years. Kayla is a great ambassador for the Lions program, always organizing team events and making things happen. This is so important to her, and that's why her teammates call her Mama Kay. Kayla is also truly an ambassador for York University. She believes red and white. She has been involved as a frost boss for Stone College during orientation week. She was a member of the sport council. She was an academic mentor. She was involved in various community events. And you can always see her cheering and supporting other teams and athletes while at York. And she's always wearing that dwarf suit. For those of you who don't know what a dwarf suit is, look it up. Kayla leaves her mark at York not because of the three pointers made or the assist she had, but she epitomizes the true spirit of what it means to be a student athlete at York. It, ha it hasn't always been easy for Kayla playing for her dad, but she has handled it with extreme maturity. Kayla is a great team leader, feisty, emotional, committed, loyal. She loves her friends and family, and a lot of them are here, and she has success for life. I have been honored, grateful, and blessed to have coached her for five years. Not many dads can say that. Thank you for all of you for showing up tonight and supporting all three grads. I want to wish them the best of luck.